So I recently started a commission painting of a bird. This is a bird that is specific to the island of Cuba, known as the Cuban Trogon. I believe it has a couple other names to it. Uh, so the client gave me artistic freedom so that I can do as I please. So I started off working on the background and I wanted to do something sort of abstract, something that gives the illusion of trees. So I just started playing with greens and blues and darker shadows and hitting the canvas with a little spray bottle of water that I have. It's a spray bottle. I call it Zico Juice, named after my art brand. <laughs> but it's basically just water and I just hit the canvas with it. I dilute the paint and I let the water flow as it wishes down the canvas. And I kind of let it work its way down the canvas, see which kind of effects I can get from it. And then I noticed on the reference image, the bird is standing on a twig and he's about 30 feet from the background, which, which are trees. And then I recently, after adding this yellow, I said, you know what, let me just, let me not put him in trees or in front of trees. Let me put him in front of a setting. So let me give this bird a background. So I researched some of the landscapes in Cuba and there's a lot of palm trees and hills. So I decided to put the bird in a beautiful skyscape. And I decided to etch the trees around him, giving it some sort of perspective. And so the eye can focus on the subject, which is the bird itself. And this is a, a rare, unique bird, very colorful. And there's a lot of detail in this painting. So I went from going from an abstract perspective, you know, kind of just more of a messy job to a more photorealistic image. And then I started working my way around the trim. And this time I went with black so that it could bring out the green on the face of the canvas. So it adds a nice contrast. And if you haven't seen a previous video of mine, comparing two different kinds of paint, acrylic paint. I compare the art brand paint to the kind of paint that you can get at the hardware store, which is what I use. I personally use Bare Premium, but you can use whatever you like. If you haven't seen that video, I recommend you go check that video out because it has a lot of tips on saving money when you're on a budget. And basically, anytime I use acrylic paint that I use with a paintbrush, I go with these bare color samples. So this is the final product. There's a lot of detail. I basically used the, uh, the bare acrylic paint as well as Posca pens. You can go to the art store and get yourself some Posca pens. And um, I basically use the Posca pens to detail the highlight of the eyeball, the orange around the eye, little sections of the beak, the little white trim on the feathers. And I'm very happy with the way that it looked and that's the painting in the client's house. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I highly recommend that you do. I have a lot of art tutorials. I host an art vlog. I have a lot of fun. I plan on doing a live stream as well. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Take care.